So this lesson is 2.2, multiplying and dividing decimals. This is actually quite a difficult lesson. So what we're going to do is we'll break it up into two parts. So we'll start with multiplying decimals first, and then we'll have a second video on dividing decimals. Now, multiplying decimals is based on the concept of borrowing and then giving back. So we borrow and then we give back. So if we take a simple example first of 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, well, we don't know how to multiply that yet. So let's borrow. Let's borrow a times 10 and borrow a times 10, and we make this 5 times 5. Well, 5 times 5 we know is, what is 25, but we borrowed 10 times 10, so that means we borrowed 100. So in order to get back, we need to divide by 100, so we need to give back. So that means it's 25, but we divide by 100, so we move the decimal twice, and the answer is 0 0.25. Let's see if this makes sense. Well, 0.5 means half, and another half, so half of a half, is that a quarter? And yes, that does make sense. So half of a half is a quarter. Another way of looking at, that, of looking at this is we count the number of decimal places that are in our question. We have one decimal place in our first number and we have one decimal place in our second number that means I have one decimal place plus one decimal place so I have a total of two decimal places in my answer I'll repeat that again one decimal place in the question plus another decimal place here makes a total of two decimal places in my answer so let's look at a more complicated question. Costas works part-time as an usher. Until this week, he earned $8.25 an hour and worked 29.5 hours a week. Let's forget the second part about receiving a raise, and let's just calculate how much he earns now because we'll have to figure out how much he increased by. So let's estimate first, it's just so that we can predict what our answer should be around. Well, $8.25 is about $8 an hour and 29 hours a week is about 30 hours. So $8 an hour times 30 hours, I cancel out the hours, so I'm left with eight times 30 is $240. So I should have approximately $240. Well, now let's multiply it through. So I have 29.5 hours times $8.25 per hour. Well, let's do the concept of borrowing and giving back. Well, we need to Make, change this into 295 by borrowing a times 10 and 8.25 we make it 825. Then in the end we'll have to look at the number of decimals and work backwards. So if we multiply this through just like standard drop the 0 and then I multiply 2 times 5 is 10 then this is 19 carry the 1 5,900. This is an 800 so which means I have two zeros and then 8 times 5 is 40, carry the 4, 8 times 9 is 72, plus 4 is 76, carry the 7, and 8 times 2 is 16, carry the 7 is 23. I add all this up, I have 5, 7, 3, carry the 1, I have another 3, carry the 1, 4, then 2. Well, he did not make $243,375. We have to give back. As we saw here, we borrowed a times 10, and we borrowed a times 100. Well, that's one decimal place, and this is two decimal places, so my final answer will have a total of three decimal places. So I move it over three decimal places, and my answer is 243.375. Well, this isn't in money, and in money we have to round to the nearest cent. So we round this to $243.38. So in his first week of work, he earned $243.38. So just as a quick review, you count the number of decimal places in your question, and that will be the total number of decimal places in your answer. 1 plus 1 is 2, and in this case, 1 decimal place plus 2 decimal places makes 3 decimal places. So that's multiplying decimals.